Tremendous support for an Omaha police officer. From morning until night, hundreds help carry a Rose Coast family. And we begin with the benefit at Ralston Arena. KATV News Watch 7's Nicole Goodrich joins us live. It's been more than a month now since Officer Carrie Rosco was killed in the line of duty. Today, the community gathered in her honor, recognizing her life and ensuring her legacy. Let me get it out. After so many tears shed for Officer Carrie Rosco, on Sunday, there are smiles. I know she's looking down, just a huge smile on her face, a lot of gratitude. As thousands head to Ralston Arena. A party in her honor. I've heard so many officers talk about how if, if it was anyone else, Carrie would have been here and she would have been involved. A community dressed in blue, bidding in a silent auction, buying food, t shirts. All the money raised will go into a trust fund for her family. She'd have probably been speechless about it, you know. But the even bigger impact, officers say, is not the money, but the support. I guarantee that uh, the numbers for today are just going to be skyrocketing through the roof. Support that says leagues about the community and about Carrie's legacy of bringing people together. You know, so many times people don't get to see the good side of officers. And as our chief said, now everyone sees a little bit of Carrie in each officer. But it's more than that because now everybody can see a little bit of Carrie in themselves. I call the connection to Carrie because I have two children of my own. And having to go back to work after having them was really rough. They're, they're normal human beings, just normal people, just doing a job that's kind of um, a little bit more public than anybody else's job. Carrie's family was also there today. Though they were not ready to speak on camera, they say they appreciate the support. Back to you. All right, Nicole. Thanks. Well